The PS5 will not be released in the next 12 months, but we do have news as to when it could be released. So let's get into this video. Here we go, back at it yet again with another video. G'day guys, I'm Champ Chong. If you end up enjoying this video, make sure you smack that like button real, real, real good. But anyway, we've got some news to talk about on today's video and it's to do with the PlayStation 5. So the PlayStation 5 will not release in the next 12 months. Yes, let, let me repeat that. The PS5 will not release in the next 12 months but it will be releasing next year which sounds ridiculous as i just said that but it's going to be in holiday 2020 most likely as we already know sony has revealed sort of sort of revealed the playstation 5 the ps5 like we kind of know it's what it is not really but we we know it's coming playstation and sony have officially announced it that it is coming out and well after sony's latest financial results briefing it's been confirmed that the next gen console will not be released in the next 12 of months and it will be hitting a late 2020 release date. On top of that, we found out that Sony is making a huge investment to develop the console. As you can see from this tweet right here from Takashi Mokizuki, he is from the Wall Street Journal. He states, Sony, no next-gen PlayStation launch over the next 12 months. PlayStation Now has been average 40% annual growth since launch, now up to 700,000 users, and much of the 31.1 billion yen um, has been invested to develop the next PlayStation console. Now, if you're for some reason unaware, the PS5 is going to be powered by a CPU based on the third generation of AMD's Ryzen line and a GPU that will support ray tracing. Now, that CPU that is based on the third generation of AMD's Ryzen line contains eight cores of the company's new 7M Zen 2 microarchitecture. The GPU is a custom variant of Radeon's Navi family, will support the ray tracing, a technique that models the travel of light to simulate complex interactions in 3D environments, which we've actually seen with Nvidia's new graphics card, specifically the 2080 line and beyond. So it's amazing what technology is evolving to these days. But yeah, pretty much what we do know right now is that hardware details. We don't know the RAM, we don't know any of that, but what we also know is that the console will not be releasing in the next 12 months so don't get your hopes up for a random like march release date next year because they've kind of done that in the past where you're just like wait what like nintendo's sort of done it and that but the thing is we will see it most likely as i said at around november december next year in 2020 so i'm pretty excited about that i really really want to see what they do announce how they announce it because over the next 12 months is when we'll find out all of the details regarding the console we'll find out all the hardware all the games and i think that's the most important part is sure the hardware is going to be amazing but the games the games are where it's all at. We have to see in the next 12 months what exclusives are going to be launching with the PlayStation 5. Because if we don't see any good PS5 games, I don't really think it's necessarily going to be worth getting this on launch. Because you have to launch with some amazing games. Sure, the graphics are going to be great. The lighting is going to be great. The gameplay and the stories are where we need it to be at. That's the beauty of video games. The stories they tell into an interactive mode through that no other media can really do. You can read a book and imagine. You can watch a movie and see. But games are where it's at. And if you can't tell... <sighs> I'm jacked up Mountain Dew! No, no, I'm not. I, I, if anyone can guess what I'm drinking right now, it's an Australian energy drink. I'm pretty sure it's only available in Australia. Let me put it down there. Yeah, I'm all jacked up on it and I'm ready to go. So let's uh, talk about the next news report on today's show. And it's something that's kind of polarizing, but more on the sad news side of things. Well, if you don't know, Rocket League's developer, Psyonix, has actually been bought by Epic Games. Now, some of you probably already knew this, but the big thing is, since Epic has bought Rocket League's developer, Rocket League is now no longer going to be available to buy on Steam. So if you do still have it on Steam, you'll most likely still be able to play it, just like it's always been. Nothing's really going to change there. But the thing is, if you're playing on PC, this is just for PC gamers out there, you will no longer be able to go into the Steam and buy yourself Rocket League. It'll only be available on the Epic Games Store, which is kind of ridiculous, to be honest. I 100% understand that Epic Games have bought Psyonix. They have the 100% rights to Rocket League, but 
that this isn't helping their cause because what they're trying to say is like, oh, we're going to be friendly. We're going to like, have games on here. But to just go and rip something off of another store, and I know they have those exclusive rights, it just seems kind of, uh, it just seems a little just too, too steely. I don't even know the word. Thievery. I, no, that doesn't even work either. But you get what I mean. It just doesn't seem cool at all. Like, why would Epic Games do this? They're the biggest game company in the world right now, I'm pretty sure, over the last at least 18 or so months. They've just completely grown thanks to Fortnite, and now they've got the rights to Borderlands with 2K, or I should say Take 2 Interactive. And, like, they've got a bunch of other games, and they're pretty much just pulling games from all over the place and putting them onto the Epic Games Store. And that's cool, but to go ahead and a game that's, like, four years old in Rocket League and just to take it and snatch it, it just seems kind of weird that they're doing that, but they, they have every right to do that, so I don't know exactly uh, where I stand on that since legally they're allowed to do it, but it just seems kind of just douchey. Ah, that's the word. That's the word I was looking for. I'd repeat that word, but demonetization is a thing that I don't want to get caught by YouTube's thing. So yeah, let's move on to the next news report on today's show. And it's actually our final news report on today's show. And it's for anyone out there that plays Sea of Thieves. And well, it's some really cool news because Sea of Thieves anniversary update is available now for free if you have Xbox Game Pass. Rare Games have officially launched Sea of Thieves anniversary update, the game's largest content update so far. And the update introduces new game modes, requested gameplay features and enhancements to that reshape the ways the players enjoy the game. And it is free for all players that have Xbox Game Pass or on Xbox One and Windows PC. So you can see right here, you've got the arena, basically five crews will take command and ba you can read all this on screen. There's a lot of stuff in there. You got Tor Tales, Ashores of Gold. Then you've got the new trading company known as Hunter's Call and it can be found at the seaports across the Sea of Thieves world. It's, it's a really, really big update. It's got all this in this huge anniversary update. And I'm actually excited to jump straight back on that. Unfortunately, I can't do that right now because well, 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 I'm actually flying away this weekend. Yes, I'm going over to IEM, which I will talk about in one second, but yeah. Sea of Thieves update, if you are playing Sea of Thieves, make sure you update your game and you'll get all this new cool stuff. And it's free if you have Xbox Live Game Pass. So that's pretty damn awesome right there. But yeah, anyway, for my Australian viewers that specifically live in Sydney or anyone flying into Sydney this weekend for IEM, which is the Intel Extreme Masters at Kudos Bank Arena, I will be there. So hopefully I see some of you guys there. I'm gonna be there with Acer for Acer Gaming. It's gonna be awesome. Gonna be doing some commentary, gonna be playing some games. It's gonna be a really good time just hanging out with you guys. So hopefully I see you guys at IEM, but yeah, until then, I'm going to, ah, whoop, can't get this on screen because I'm not sponsored. Please sponsor me this energy drink. I'm going to go pack because I have to get on a flight tonight. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed this one though, make sure you smack the like button and subscribe if you're a brand new viewer. And then yeah, I'll see you soon. All right guys, so actually just before the video does end, I am going to show you something PlayStation sent me the other day. As you guys already know, Days Gone has come out just recently. So they actually sent me this awesome package, including this controller, which I'm gonna open in a second. But they got me this hat, which, what up, what up, what up, I'm wearing a hat. It's a little too big for my head and I have a giant head, so I don't know where they found that hat. But here we are, we've got a bandana in here, which looks pretty cool, it's blood red, it looks awesome. Then we've got this one right here, which, um. I wore in my previous video for a second, and uh, I look like a complete dork, but it is a pretty cool design. You've got the skulls there, the triple skulls. You've actually, if you look at it, it's the motorcycle club. It's actually really, really cool, because if you see on right here, if you don't know, it's a whole like motorcycle club theme to it. You've got Ride, The Broken Road, Farewell, Original. So that's actually really cool that's there. Something really cool too is this key ring sort of thing, which is actually an ear. Um, of like a zombie. It just looks creepy and it's actually kind of squishy. Um, I'm actually not opening that. I'm keeping that the way it is. Well, actually, I will not because apparently you can just... Well, maybe not. Well, maybe you can. I don't know. Actually, I'm just going to keep it in there because guess what? It might be worth something one day. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it away or something too. Uh, but you've got the uh, bandana here, which is also a red one, which is really cool. And then in here, it's really cool is this Days Gone uh, book. So in here you can see it's like really, really cool stuff. You got like 
detailed artwork and stuff of the game, some details you may not know, you may not find online about the game. It's really cool and uh, really insightful. Um, and whoop, hopefully I'll have to not blur that out but because it, it has my game code in it. But yeah, I'm gonna be playing that. And then finally, one of my favorite things that comes with it, and PlayStation Australia, thank you so much. I have a huge collection of controllers now because I'm going to open the back of this and we'll take a look at this controller. All right, so yeah, I have a huge collection of tr controllers and uh, it's growing both on Xbox and PlayStation side of things. Uh, you guys, both companies keep sending me stuff. So uh, this one might be actually one of my favorites. Check this out right here. Ooh, baby, it is a alpine green. It has a Zelda almost theme. Um, it feels weird even saying that because this is a PlayStation controller. But it's got these gold um, arrows on the uh, D-pad here. The thumbsticks actually have this really cool feel. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It's different to a normal controller, I would say. And the Alpine Green does have a nice little reflective tint to it. I don't know how to describe that. But on the back, it's fully white. I actually really like that. Um, I've got a white controller right here. But the thing is, on the white controller, it's actually a different white. You probably can't tell on camera, but it's more of a gray. You can actually see it side by side right there. Only the front is the white on there, but it does have that nice grippy part of it. So yeah, thank you to PlayStation for this amazing Days Gone hat. Alpine Green controller, which actually matches my uh, GTA 5 stress ball when I'm stressed ah, because I'm dying constantly online. But yeah, uh, and all this other stuff, including this awesome, awesome book. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go play this game while you guys leave a comment saying whatever you want to say. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.